It's the last Monday in the month of June, and we are counting down to the seventh month of the year. But first, let's talk about Sunday night at the Black Entertainment Television Awards ceremony. Nigerian singing sensation Tens made history at the 2022 BET Awards when she became the first African female to win the best international category. With this win, she joins the Vido, Bono Boy, Ice Prince, and Whiskey in the list of Nigerians who have won the BET Awards. Together with Whiskey, Thames also took home the Best Collaboration Award through their hit single, Essence Remix, featuring Justin Bieber. What's more, Fireboy thrilled the audience with his electrifying performance of Playboy and Peru at the show, and his fans are taking to Twitter to celebrate the YBNL signee. Let's see some comments online. Aladdin Soft says, I'm really happy for Fuse though. Transitioning from a producer to an internationally recognized artist takes a great deal of talent, hard work, and grace. Man seems to have ticked all the boxes. Love this performance at the BET Red Carpet State. Hashtag BET Awards. And then Snare says, Fireboy DML not only delivered a 10 over 10 performance, but he also demonstrated to the world how beautiful our sound in Africa is. Global treasure. Africa to the world. <laughs> and Mr. Macaroni, a Nigerian skit maker, has this to say. Whiskey and Thames won the BET Award for Best Collaboration. Fireboy DML delivered a fantabulous performance on that stage. This is one of those proud moments for us all. It's sweet, my buddy. We never even start. Yes, Africa is coming powerfully. Away from that now to Northwest Nigeria, Governor Belo Matawale of Zamfara State has directed citizens to own a firearm for personal protection because he's concerned about the ongoing murder of innocent citizens by bandits in the state. Hmm. Now, this order was given shortly after an attack on Saturday in Mada village where bandits killed numerous people, injured many others, and drove thousands of residents from their homes. This directive to carry your personal firearm was made by the state administration to provide appropriate security, but Nigerians on Twitter are not exactly in agreement with the development. Here are some of their hot takes. This one says, the people living in those villages in Zampara cannot afford three square meal. Talk more of guns. Issuing gun licenses to Zamfara state people will only help the bandits to get more guns legally. The government is responsible for securing citizens, not citizens carrying guns by themselves to secure their own lives. And Isha Khalid says, government decision allowing civilians to take up guns to fight armed kidnapping gangs in Nigeria, Zamfara state, raises more questions plus concerns than answers plus hope. Zamfara is epicenter of Nigeria's kidnap or ransom crisis. The authorities have so far failed to tackle the situation in Zamfara. And Gimba Kakanda says, asking civilians to arm themselves in a lawless country as being proposed to Zamfara proposed by Zamfara State Governor Belo Matawale is an appointment with categorical disaster. Even the countries with big defense budgets have been unable to stop the consequent gun violence. Let's talk of a country like this. Really? Well, we end tonight on a very sad note. The death of 22 young people at a nightclub in East London, South Africa, was mourned across the country on Sunday. Becky Seller, the National Police Minister, told reporters that he was still unsure of the exact circumstance, but he noted that some of the victims were actually only 13 years old. The minister announced that samples from the dead will be sent to toxicology labs in Cape Town for additional examination. In the meantime, President Cyril Ramaphosa sent his condolences to the relatives of the victims and said he expects justice to be served after an investigation into the incident. Let's see what South Africans and other Africans are saying about the East London and Yobeni Tavan. What happened in East London cannot be undone. So says an apologetic African. Imagine waking up to identify your teenage child's body at a tavern on a Sunday morning. Three heartbroken emojis. This must never happen to anyone, even your worst enemy. Condolences to the families who lost. I'll be condolences to them. Amaviso says, my generation never went to Tavans. It was a no-go area. This was reserved for old Madalas who are failed in life. So why is this generation, 13-year-old people, why are they going to Tavans? Hashtag Enyo Beni Tavan. Very sad story. Very, very sad. And Cosby says, my friend refused his son to go for a sleepover at a friend's place. Now, apparently, their plan was to go to this Enyo Beni Tavan. The friend, unfortunately, is now one of the deceased very sad. 
And that is all for tonight on NC Trends. Thank you for watching. I am Sean Van Collier.